वेलकम टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विथ फ्लो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ ह्यूमन एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम दिस इज द इमेज ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम दीज आर किडनीज दीज आर किडनीज वन पे आर नंबर दिस इज द किडनीज दीज आर किडनीज और राइट गाइज नाउ नेक्स्ट दीज आर दीज आर ऑर्टा दीज आर ऑर्टा and this is vena cava this is the aorta and this is the vena cava vena cava is a vein and aorta is a artery clear guys look at here dorsal aorta and inferior vena cava this term is clear very clear aorta divide and goes towards the kidney and now her name is change we can call it as a now renal artery if vena cava divide and goes towards kidney then we can call it as a this vena cava is termed as a renal vein because kidney we can also said renal tubule now this is the ureter one pair in number this is the urinary bladder they collect our urine and this is the opening urethra all right guys let's start with explanation about excretory system the excretory system consist of a pair of kidney yeah one pair of kidney now one pair of ureters one pair of ureters one urinary bladder one urinary bladder and urethra and urethra so our excretory system mainly highlighted kidney ureters urinary bladder and urethra our excretory system made up of these four part these four component mainly kidney are reddish brown reddish brown in color bean shaped like bean bean shaped structure situated between the level of last thoracic and third lumbar vertebra we study before that we have vertebral columns okay means we have cervical vertebral columns we have thoracic vertebrae we have lumbar region vertebrae we have sacrum we have coccyx then this kidney located where last thoracic last thoracic and third l1 l2 l3 third lumbar region clear guys last thoracic vertebrae and third lumbar we can indicate lumbars l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 we have five lumbar region clear guys close to the dorsal inner wall of the abdominal cavity they situated at our abdomen cavity abdominal cavity dorsal side what you understand by dorsal side where our spinal cord is present spinal cord is situated this portion is dorsal side and where our heart is situated this portion is called it as a ventral side so kidney located abdominal as well as dorsal inside means back side now each kidney of an adult human measures 10 to 12 cm length 10 to 12 cm length 5 to 7 cm width 5 to 7 cm width and their thickness their thickness is 2 to 3 cm the average weight of kidney 120 g to 170 g clear guys this is important thing okay this description is important so i read line to line towards the center of the inner concave surface of kidney is a notch called hilum this is the concave surface this is the concave surface look at here look at here this is the concave surface this is the point of hilum this is the point of hilum through which ureter blood vessel and nerve enters here blood vessels ureters are connected clear very clear inner to the hilum 
is a broad funnel shaped called the renal pelvis with projected called calyx look at here look at here this is the hilum look at here this is the hilum where renal part renal artery renal tubule ureters ureters are connected and this is the pelvis look at here this is the pelvis region and this is the pyramids these are calyx look at here these are calyx and this region is pelvis region clear guys very clear now the outer layer of kidney is tough outer layer of kidney this layer is kidney is tough means they are covering guys is tough we can call it as a capsule inside the kidney there are two zones of course inside the kidney kidney divided into two zone kidney divided into two zone all right outer is cortex and inner is medulla this region is this region is cortex region this is the cortex part of kidney and this is the inner part of kidney we call it as a medulla clear very clear medulla is divided into a few conical masses we can call it as a projecting calyx this medulla part contain this is pyramid like structure now this is the zone of medulla part this is the complete zone of medulla part this medulla part contain pyramids these are pyramids and pyramids contain this is the structure of nephron yes this is not a lining they are nephron clear guys these are nephron and they are ending collecting tubes linked with here here and and these are calyx these are calyx clear the cortex extends in between the medulla pyramids as renal columns called column of bertini look at here what a beautiful diagram here so here is renal column these are renal column and these are calyx all right and here column of bertini's are situated this outer part we get call is as a cortex and this inner part we can call it as a medullary part clear okay it's clear now calyx region look at here this is the calyx part this is the calyx part this is the calyx renal artery arises from aorta this is the renal artery renal vein arises from vena cava okay and this is the pelvis this is swollen structure pelvis and this is ureter and here a notch like structure is present we call it as a hilum okay guys we call it as a hilum now each kidney has nearly 1 million complex tubular structure we call it as a nephron here nephron is situated here nephron is situated which are the functional unit of the kidney each nephron has two parts the glomerulus part first is glomerulus part and second one is renal tubule part means pct dct handless loop like this what is glomerulus glomerulus is a tuft of capillaries formed by afferent arteriole what is the function of afferent they take blood and toxic substance towards the towards the glomerulus and a fine branch of renal artery this is the modification of artery now what is efferent artery if i called efferent artery then what is the efferent artery efferent they take blood away from away from glomerulus they put their blood towards the glomerulus and they take their blood away from the glomerulus next line next line blood from the glomerulus is carried away by efferent look at here away by next 
द रेनल ट्यूब्यूल बिगिनस विद अ डबल वॉल्ड कप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर वी कॉल इट एज अ बोमन्स कैप्सूल दिस इज ए कप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर कप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विथ एनक्लोज द ग्लोमेलस हेयर ग्लोमेलस प्रेजेंट द बंच ऑफ कैपलरी ग्लोमेलस अलॉन्ग विद बोमन्स कैप्सूल इज कॉल्ड मेल पीजियन बॉडी और रेनल कैप्सूल सोली होली कंप्लीटली वी कैन कॉमनली कॉल इट एज अ रेनल कैप्सूल एंड कैप्सूल नहीं कॉर्पस्कल्स कॉर्पस्कल्स एंड अदर वन इज मेल पीजियन सेवन से मेल पीजियन इट्स मेल पीजियन बॉडी नेम ऑफ दिस थिंग ना क्लोमेलस एंड वोमन्स कैप्सूल दे कॉमनली कॉल इट एज अ रेनल कॉर्पस्कल्स एंड सेकेंड मेल पीजियन बॉडी और राइट द ट्यूबुलर कंटिन्यू फर्दर टू फॉर्म हाईली कॉल्ड नेटवर्क प्रॉक्सिमल कॉन्वलेटेड ट्यूब्यूल बिकॉज द नियर नियर टू वोमन्स कैप्सूल वोमन्स कैप्सूल एंड हाईली कॉल्ड हाईली कॉल्ड दे यूज फॉर फॉर इंक्रीजिंग ऑब्जॉर्बशन एरिया लुक एट हियर लुक एट हियर योर नेफ्रॉन नेफ्रॉन इज हियर this is the glomerulus part this is the glomerulus part look at here this is the group of capillary this is the glomerulus part they connected with afferent arterioles afferent arterioles they take blood from outside to towards the glomerulus and another arteriole is efferent arteriole here is efferent arterioles they take away blood from glomerulus this is the cup like structure we call it as a bowman's capsule we call it as a bowman's capsule now this is highly convoluted tubule look at it this is highly convoluted tubule we can call it as a p c t proximal convoluted tubule now this is a u shaped tubule look at here u shape tubule some part is thick and some part is thin this part is descending limb of henle's loop and this part thin part is ascending limb of loop of henle completely we can call it as a henle's loop this is the u shaped structure like this come on guys like this and last part of ascending loop is joined with highly coiled structure tubule we call it as a distal convoluted tubule we can call it as a p c t no it's d c t distal means away dur proximal means near from which bowman's capsule and distal from where towards bowman capsule and this distal tubules open in collecting duct and next this collecting duct is joined with ureter so this is your structure of nephron this is your structure of nephron how they filter how they filter how they reabsorb how they excrete yes let's take a quick view of filtration filtration guys let's take a quick view of filtration absorption and excretion how this process proceed let me raise first so i can clearly visualize you this is the glomerulus part and this is the bowman capsule part look at here arrow part they both do filtration i am giving you little bit description a quick view not elaborate manner little bit glomerulus and bowman's capsule they both do filtration they filter substance they filter substance all right glomerulus filter the substance and bowman's capsules also help to filtrate after filtration glomerulus pass the filtrate in bowman's capsule in bowman's capsule glomerulus pass the filtrate towards the bowman's capsule this 
is we call it as a not urine we call it as a filtrate not this is not a urine this is not a urine no so bowman capsule take whole toxic substance unnecessary substance and glomerulus what they do next they passes pure blood with the help of efferent arteriole okay efferent arteriole take the blood with toxicity and other unnecessary enzymes unnecessary molecules okay and this arteriole take away pure blood okay so glomerulus filter glomerulus filtered some toxic substance and goes and passes towards bowman's capsule first i am writing here efferent arteriole carry toxic substances towards glomerulus and now glomerulus filter all the substance passes towards the bowman's capsules okay now next thing is now this filtrate not urine this filtrate passes towards the pct proximal convoluted tubules and pct layers stop them okay, stop filtrate what are you doing here then filtrate said that uh, i am here for secretion then pct stop and say give me your water give me your water then filtrate said okay take my water so pct absorb important important molecules water and any substances now next line is filtrate passes towards pct okay now next look at here no pct absorb their important water important minerals not waste material only 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 useful material why because they have epithelial cells some columnar cells some ciliated body they absorb these things they absorb now filtrate pass towards henle's loop then he goes forward and then suddenly henle's loop stop them stop filtrate where are you going and filtrate said that i am going for excretion then henle's loop stop filtrate and stop give me your water and important minerals then what henle's loop do absorb filtrates water and some important ion and said go now go forward then filtrate goes forward 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 and it enters in dct then dct stop filtrate where are you going filtrate i am here only said this filtrate not i am saying urine not now dct stop them dct stop filtrate where are you going filtrate we take lots of water and ions then filtrate again say i am going for excretion this is stop and secrete hormone vasopressin we can call it as a adh anti diuretic hormone this hormone absorb important water only so dct absorb water and now urine is forward towards the collecting duct and excrete out from the body now we can say urine now urine can excrete we can say urine urea we can excrete clear guys so this is the working mechanism of nephron filtrate passes towards pct and pct absorb absorbed important ions and water molecules then filtrate 
passes towards handless loop now what handless loop will do absorb ions and now filter it passes towards dct and what will dct will do absorb water and now urine passes towards collecting duct and removed from the body so this is the whole mechanism this is the whole mechanism for how our nephron we call it as a functional unit of nephron because of this we can call it as a functional unit of kidney this is the structure of our kidney and this is the structure of our nephron clear guys i elaborate everything i elaborate everything there is some explanation guys that a hairpin loop or u shaped loop we call it as a handless loop the next part of the tubule which has descending and ascending thick part and thin part the ascending loop continue another highly called dct we know distal convoluted tubule the distal convoluted tubule mainly nephron open into a straight tubule we can call it as a collecting duct we know everything many of which coverage uh, converge and open into renal pelvis of course through medullary pyramids in calyx the male pigeon capsules means glomerulus and bowman's capsule pct and dct of the nephron are situated in cortical region cortex side not medulla side look at here this structure this structure is glomerulus pct and dct and the handless loop in inside clear guys now next the kidney where the loop of handless deeps into the medulla handless loop part is deeps in medulla region okay in majority of nephron the loop of handless is too short and extend only very little very little into the medulla some handless loop is very short so they less embedded in medulla part so they less embedded in medulla part such nephron are called as as a cortical nephron these kind of nephron we call it as a cortical nephrons in some of nephron the loop of handless is very long in some cases the loop of handless is very long we can call it as a juxta medullary nephron juxta medullary nephron the efferent arteriole take away blood from glomerulus Emer efferent arterioles emerging from the glomerulus forms a fine capillary network around the renal tubules we watch that here this is the loop of henle henle's loop this efferent look at here they cover all the tubular part they cover all the tubular part if something is toxic then if something is toxic they can easily release into the henle's loop and if something is important they can take if friend arterial what they do if something is toxic still after filtration is something is toxic in efferent arterioles they passes towards pct henle's loop dct and if something is important like water ions they can absorb they can take from henle's loop they can take from pct dct so a um, minute vessels of network run parallel to henle's loop of course this is the henle's loop and this is the efferent whatever whatever henle's loop is absorb necessary thing they can take it important thing they can take it they said to henle's loop please give me your water you absorb with the filtrate give me your water and what they do and what they do they give toxic substance that they can easily excrete from the body so vasa recta is absent or highly reduced in cortical nephron look at here if henle's loop is short then how this vena cava is function how they can function if loop is very short then how they can cross so vasa recta is absent in cortical nephron cortical nephron means short henle's loop so that's all for now we will cover reunion formation in our next video so if you like my lecture if you like my video then please subscribe my channel adhyan with flow thank you for listening me guys and keep smiling and keep revising thank you